They've soaked up pretty much everything Saints had to throw at them. And they're going to have another crack from here. Ring Rose, it'll show of the ball, the dummy switch, and here goes Carney. And Leinster are absolutely flying. That's the bonus point. Pleased. Uh, I don't think anyone's getting too carried away themselves. You know, we did the review this morning and um, uh, there's plenty to work on. There's plenty of things we can get better at. Uh, but, you know, we've a high regard for Northampton, particularly their attacking game. Um, so to um, deliver such a good defensive performance, obviously disappointed with the tries we gave away, but to defend so well um, against such a high quality attacking team on both games and then to transition that defence into attacking tries, you know, so the turnover counter-attack that we created on the back of our defence uh, was, was very pleasing. But um, that job's done, we turn the page, it's a very short turnaround, obviously we've got Ulster who are playing equally as well I think as us, um, and a massive interpro at the IDS on Friday. It's a brilliant selection headache. Um, you know, we, we have training sessions where, you know, we've picked you know, one team to say play at a European game and the, we're getting carved up by the opposition who are our own players, you know. So, um, you know, the, bo the, the boys know that the, na the gap has narrowed between who's an international player and who's a Leinster player. And they know that, you know, Andy Farrell's squad's come out very soon. You know, they, they know that, you know, in his mind, there's going to be international chances he needs to, to create for lads towards 2023 as well. So, you know, it, they want to play for Leinster first and foremost. Um, and they, they, in order to do that, they need to train well, and so it makes it tremendous competition. Well, I think they've been excellent. I mean, you know, I think Dan McFarlane's done a brilliant job up there. You can see the culture and the identities, you know, um, embedded in the team. Um, I, I've got high regard for Jared Payne and his defensive coaching, um, and Dwayne Peel as well. I think is an, an excellent attacking coach. So <clears throat> I think you know it's not by luck that they've won the games they've won. You know, they're a very well coached team. Uh, and uh, I think it sets up for a brilliant game. You know, hopefully it'll be a sellout at the RDS Friday night just before Christmas. Um, and I know, you know, if you were talking about turning a page from Europe, it doesn't turn any better than to the three massive interpros because once also finishes, you know, we we go down to Tone Park and uh, uh, and, sh and the show goes on.